Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sophia and I'm a second year medical student at Deakin University in Geelong, Australia. I'm also an international student and today, my lovely international friends, this video is going to be for you because I'm going to share my journey as an international student to medicine and what steps did I take and what I had to do. So give this a like if you find this useful and without further ado, let's roll back into the video. So my journey to medicine started in Russia. Um, I was still in grade 11, um, my final year, because in Russia we have just 11 years of school. So because in Australia there are sort of 12 year levels and in Russia it's 11 year levels of school, this was a gap that they were like, no, nah, you close that. It's, you need to prove that you qualify. So in other countries, you might go to from your own country to uni in Australia without doing any specific college. You just have to pass their exams. I'm not sure about that because what I did, they were like sort of, no, you need to go to college for a year as like to constitute for that lost 12th year of school. And then you can go to uni, please, no problems. I was like, oh, okay. So like, I was in school for 12 years instead of 11 because in Russia you just have to do 11. I hope that's clear. So um, before going into college, obviously they had to know that I needed to do IELTS. And IELTS is basically an English exam, as you know. So if you are from non-English country like Russia or China or Indonesia or I don't know, many other countries, you would need to take that test. And for college or university, you need from my memory, like 6.5 uh, to 7. Um, I got like 7.5 average, so I was pretty happy with that. I got it from my first try, but I was studying English in Australia for a long time before I could sit this exam. So it's not like I didn't prepare at all. I was preparing for a long time. So you do this test and then once, once you're eligible for English, um, you can go into college. And I went to Trinity College, um, which is sort of connected to Melbourne Uni. Um, they sort of work together. So from Trinity College, you can go straight to Melbourne Uni. Or you can choose any other degree or other university if you want, like Monash or any other state. But because I wanted University of Melbourne, I was happy with Trinity College. And I did a fast track pro program, which ran for seven months. Um, it was high intensity course. So we were the fast track course. That means that we are sort of going through everything pretty quickly, but um, you have your own exams in that college through which you get marks. And with those marks, you can apply to Melbourne Uni. So you still have to get the marks to get you a specific course. For example, for Bachelor of Biomedicine, which is in University of Melbourne, you needed to get 91. And I got 90.5, so they rounded up for 91, which thank you so much for that. It would be very difficult to not get into Bachelor of Biomedicine. You need to get like 80 to get into Bachelor of Science, and then I don't remember anything else. But basically, you have your own college inside exams to get into Melbourne Uni. You can also use those marks to get into other universities, as I said, like Monash or any other state university, but I'm not sure what their specific requirements are. I just know about Melbourne Uni. Um, so this program still exists up to today. I will drop the link below for this college for Melbourne Uni, so you can see if you want to apply through them. But again, not everyone needs to go to this college. I had a lot of international friends who didn't need to get into college. They just had to write their own exams in English and get to, to university. Um, so then, yeah, but I liked the college because it sort of made me prepare for university and I made friends, which was easier if I went straight to uni with so many people in college, you sort of have this small cohort and they look after you and you have those trips and you have drama classes and it's really like a lot of friendship and a lot of fun. So I never regretted this 12th year, which I, I it, it didn't feel like wasting my time. It really felt like preparing for Australian education and system of 
their schooling, uh, how they write their exams, because it's completely different from Russia. In Russia, it's more like active recall. In Australia, it's more like applying the reasoning and critical skills. So I was like, what? what is that? Like, am I not supposed to recall specific citations from the book or like uh, memorize all the formulas? No, they sometimes they give you formulas. You just have to apply that. I'm like, thank you. Wow, that is great. We had like a math cheat sheet in Russia that does not exist. You have to be like encyclopedia, walking encyclopedia. Anyways, moving on. After that, I got into Bachelor of Biomedicine. It was uh, rough because you sort of get exposed to other Australian students who got 92 on their attires. Sorry, not 92. I got 92. Uh, they got like 98.5, 99.8. So they are super smart and they like speak their own language. So you have to compete among them. But that's not actually quite true because you actually have to compete with other international students because when medical schools sort of choose between you they choose local students among local students and then they have particular number of spots for international students so it's not like you compete among australian students but you compete among international students to get into medical school but um the common question is bachelor of science or bachelor of biomedicine what's the difference well, not much. You still can pick your own courses. You pretty much study the same thing. In Bachelor of Biomedicine, it's just more structured. Um, and this is specific to Melbourne Uni, by the way. And also in Bachelor of Biomedicine, um, you sort of, everyone wants to get into medicine. So I guess it's easier to communicate to people who already want to do the same thing as you. Because in Bachelor of Science, everyone might be doing different things. Like some people might be doing like veterinary or some people want to do like dentistry or some people want to do like, I don't know, like earth science or something. So in Bachelor of Biomedicine, like pretty much 99% wants to get into medicine. And it's easier that way. I feel like it was like... It was much more competition because everyone was competing for the same thing, but it was easier in terms of we are going all the same, we're all in the same boat and we know what's happening and we can always like, talk to each other about medicine and stuff and medical school and GAMSAT and stuff. So you do your Bachelor of Science or Biomedicine in any university again uh, that you want, it doesn't matter, and you need to get your GPA. So that's what I did. You study hard for all these three years. Please concentrate on your studies because this is with which marks you've got to apply to medicine. So I really, really recommend concentrating on your studies at that time. And I'm not saying don't go out, but please don't be like, oh, it's my like uni years. And like, no, if you want to get into medicine, you really have to get good marks. So based from experience i didn't do well in first year but again i realized that pretty quickly and was like oh my god like i'm losing it like i need to pick it up so pick it up you know like do something about it like study um i'm not saying cut everything off but just concentrate on it like make it your priority don't like maybe go to work like instead of studying or don't go partying instead of studying but i mean like you know make it your priority and what else yeah so as an international student you need your gpa and you also need your gamset so just as local students you need your gamset and i made previous videos about it i'll link them in the description below so you can look what is gamset how to take it when to take it i'm not gonna talk about it now but most students most schools um take it if you score like more than 50 on gamset so just do that score more than 50 in your game set if you can and take it as many times as you want again all the details about game set are on this video about game set and i made like two of them one of them got thousand views so i think i did pretty well about it so yeah um go to some watches worth watching and then what you do is you apply to every school separately so local students in australia they have their own system called game sets um, almost similar like Gam said, oh my god, I hate those two words, anyways. And you, you like sort of apply through the system. That's what local students do. We don't do that, guys. We apply to every uni differently. 
okay so if you want like unimail you go to the website and they have like application deadlines and everything so you apply within those deadlines within the time frame and you like load everything your documents um your game set your blah blah blah, blah like your gpa your statement of results um and you do that for every uni there might be fees i'm just warning you there might be fees like some unis might charge like 50 dollars for application but that's what you're gonna do you want to do medicine so you're gonna pay and then you wait you wait for your interview and then if you are abroad you can take this interview abroad if you're still in australia just rock up to the interview if you get an invitation after that if you're successful you're in medicine let's go congratulations if you're not try again you can do honors year i have a video about honors year um i'll link it as well watch it what is it or you can take a gap year and work up to you and then do this again repeat maybe take one more gap set if you want um and yeah pretty much after that you just pay your fees and come to australia make another student visa as i said before because your student visa will expire after your bachelor degree and <sighs> wow i talked a lot and yeah you just apply for visa apply for your health care fund uh, like uh, health what is it called health insurance i'm sorry and you just yeah do everything as they say uh, pay your fees uh, rock up to classes and enjoy your uh, uni years in medicine i hope you're lucky on this journey and if you have any questions please comment below i answer everything i know um i don't have any secrets so i really really want to help you guys so um yeah all the best and enjoy your life even if it's studying hard still i mean have fun and go outside enjoy some sunshine um and i'll see you in the next video bye